One key to success in any role that you may have, whether it's an individual contributor or a leadership role, is being right more than you're wrong. Very simple, right more than you're wrong. You will make mistakes in your career. You know, if you're trying to push the status quo, you're gonna make mistakes. If you're not making any mistakes, you're not challenging the boundaries of current thinking, current dogma in your business. You're gonna make mistakes. So how do you become a person that is right more often than they're wrong, all right? This is Joe Kuhn of Lean Driven Reliability, bridging the gap between best practices that you know you should be doing, just can't quite figure out how to work through those obstacles in your plant that you face every day when you come in. How to be right more often than wrong. What a, you know, what a great skill to have. Uh, hey, more data? Hey, how about more charts? Hire smarter people. Make less decisions. <laughs> uh, make team decisions by consensus, by, by majority, involve a team. All these are good things, folks. Uh, but I found nothing as strong and as powerful to making better decisions than establishing a go and see culture. So what do I mean by that? First, here, here's some example. Hey, a failure happens at your plant and it's reported in the morning meeting. Do you have a culture where the leadership, you included, go and see that failure on the shop floor? Or do you just talk about it in the conference room? And a root cause analysis uh, is completed and that action item is implemented on the shop floor and everybody's celebrating that. When you are informed of that, do you have a culture of the leadership team going out and seeing that on the shop floor? Not only to validate it was done, but to what quality, what impact it has, talk to some operators, talk to the person that implemented it, you know, give, a, give a, a, a congratulations to the persons that were involved with that. Do you have that culture? Uh, performance on an asset is dropped off. Your, your yield is dropped off. Uh, you hear about that in your morning meeting. Do you have a go and see culture? Do you say, hey, this is the most important issue we have in the next 24 hours. We go out on the shop floor and observe. We go and see firsthand to see what data we can collect more than the hard physical data, hard uh, you know, electronic data that may be uh, captured that says, hey, here was the yield on that asset uh, yesterday or last week, last month. This is not just a behavior for you and your lead team. It's something you need to expect of others. You know, um, for example, somebody in a, uh, suggest a process change. You're in a, you're in a, a you know, quality lead team meeting and they want to uh, change the process somehow. You ask, how many hours did you spend in chalk circle observation before you came to us with this recommendation? Listen for the crickets when you ask that. How many hours did you spend not just, you know, collecting data, standing there at the entrance of the line, the exit of the line, wherever the, the quality issue is happening, how many hours did you spend there? And what's appropriate? Is it eight hours? Is it 16? I guarantee it, the answer is not zero. The maintenance manager, another example, informs you that PM compliance was 100% last month. Okay, uh, what does that tell you if the PM compliance was 100%? How many hours did you spend in chalk circle observation validating the effectiveness of those PMs, the efficiency of those PMs, the precision of those PMs last month? The only thing that 100% PM clients Compliance means is 100% of the work orders were closed. Didn't say anything about the quality, effectiveness, or efficiency of them. So your task number one for next week, if you choose to accept it, and have a little fun, take out a notebook that for on Monday. Take out a notebook. Draw three columns on it. Three full columns, a full sheet of paper. Column one, label 100% ac uh, accurate data. 100% accurate data. Column two, is opinion slash experience. Okay, so something that it, it's experience or an opinion. Uh, and column number three, firsthand chalk circle observation. Observations at least four hours of looking at the problem. So if it's a yield problem on the exit end of a, of a cold rolling mill, how many hours did you spend on that exit end of the cold mill looking at this problem? Tally the scores from every meeting you went to this week you know, next week.
tally the scores, put a little, just a one little tick mark um, by the speaker in that meeting. And, you know, so with the speaker, if you're talking about a topic of yield on the cold bills, everybody that talks, say whether it's opinion, it's data, or firsthand observation. Okay, now a caution. When somebody says this, you know, when you put a tick mark in the 100% accurate data, be careful. Uh, let's go back to PMs. Uh, if I said PM compliance was 95% last month, what does that mean? That only tells you that 95% of the work orders were closed. Nothing about executed completely. They could have done half the PM and closed it out. That happens all the time. All the time, folks. That no measure of precision. They had the wrong grease. They had the wrong gasket material. They did it wrong. They tried to do a good job. Don't blame the craftsman, but did, was it done with precision? Uh, did they align the motor, you know, with the laser alignment tool or did they align it with a hammer? Where's the, you know, were the PMs based on failure mode? What about the 5% you missed? What if those 5% PMs that you missed were on your most critical asset? They were lubricating your most critical asset, should you be concerned. So be careful what you put in that 100% uh, accurate data column. Okay, here's what you're gonna have, folks. I'll tell you the answer, okay? Do the exercise, because it'll help you learn. What you're gonna have is you're gonna have very little data that you could say, hey, I would swear, I would bet my uh, career <laughs> or my annual salary, I'll bet my annual salary that that data is right, okay? You're not gonna have very many columns in column, I mean, very many tick marks in column one. You're not. You're gonna have a whole lot of opinion whole lot of, uh, in my experience, or here's what I've learned, here's what's happened in the past, this is what I think. You're going to have a whole lot of I thinks, okay? And they're going to have no chalk circle observation. Has to be four hours. You're going you're to have none. Just expect that. And that should be telling. Look at that sheet. What does that tell you? So you want to make better decisions, right? Increase chalk circle observation. Folks, it validates the data. Just like I use that PM compliance, it's 95%. You do the chalk circle observation, you say, yes, it was done with precision. Yes, it was done completely. Yes, it is based on failure mode. That's the only way you can do this is chalk circle observation, increases your data. What happens when you increase your data and you validate your data and you're out there talking with people? You're, talking, you're, you're, seeing, you're, you're seeing the physical state of the equipment and how it's being operated and the problem manifesting itself. It increases your confidence, increases your data, and simple solutions. This is the hidden gem. Simple solutions to the problem present themselves when you're doing chalk circle observation. When you're in a conference room, you're talking about it, everybody's got these wild, expensive ideas. When you do chalk circle observation, you get simple ideas, okay? And you're right more often. Chalk circle observation will make you right more often. Case closed, okay? Hey, task number two. Task number two, ask the lead team, whatever leadership team you're on, if it's the maintenance lead team or the plant lead team, ask them to make a rule. And that rule is very simple. Every change that comes before this group that needs to be approved, you know, every process change, every, in, you know, every purchase that has to be approved at that level, any new tool, any new product, whatever it is, any decision needs to be supported by eight hours of chalk circle observation you're gonna be right more often. You're gonna be making better decisions if you force the entire organization to have a go and see mindset. Hey folks, this is easy. This caught, I just, I increased your ability to make correct decisions at your plant for no money. Cost nothing to do this, chalk circle observation. Hey folks, begin your journey. This isn't that hard. Don't make it harder than it is. Create a go and see culture it will change the dance at your plant. Thank you.